going to tell you a small story today. Actually, when I was a kid, I used to visit my grandma. When I was there, actually, it's a small village with full of beauty. Actually, I used to walk with my grandma to see the serenity of this small village. When both of uh, us were walking through the, this small village, my grandma asked me to, daughter, please take a deep breath. I took it. I felt the purity and freshness of that air. Unfortunately, can you and me nowadays ask you son or a daughter to step out from your house and take a deep breath? Can you ask that? Not at all. The environmental pollution everywhere with 99% of pollution in this earth at this very moment. Actually, because of this, Every moment you feel you can't allow your kids to go out without a mask. Why this happens? Actually, the thing is, culprits are us for this environmental criticism. Why I'm telling this? You drove through here today by your vehicles. When you drove, how much of gas, toxic gas, you emit from your vehicles into this pure air? How much of particulated matters you released into this pure air? Because of these simple activities, each and every step we are taking, we release many more things to this pure air. Not only that, actually. Sometimes you might think, oh my God, if the impurity is in outside, we have to stay inside of your, our homes. But still for all, my dear ladies, today you cooked and burned fuel and released so much of air pollutants, toxic gases into the air that is the indoor environment we are behaving. So that's why 11.67% of death rate we are having because of this environmental pollution. You and me cannot avoid this. Actually, because of this problem, because of this problem, at the moment, most of the heavy metals, polyaromatic carbon, Many more particulated matters can go into your lungs and get you with different type of disease and infections. That's why actually, Barry Connor said, environmental pollution is an incurable disease. What you can do is prevention of this from this world. This is the human perception. We have a glimmer of hope at the moment. Why I'm saying this? When you see this image, the plants are the only options we have to avoid this environmental disaster. But today, I'm not going to tell you about plants. We have to grow plants. We have to take this environment into a good condition, but I am today not talking about the plant. Behind the scene, there are a few organisms. Actually, you cannot see them into your naked eye. That is the thing. You cannot see them into your naked eye. But still, they are doing a perfect job to heal this nature of mother. How is it? Imagine like this. When you imagine you are a plant inhabiting in a very urban area with air pollution is high, hot climate, very unfavorable condition. 
very unfavorable condition. But still for all, you won't believe in that plant there are a lot of leaves. When you take a leaf and see that from the microscope, you won't believe actually there are millions of microorganisms on that leaf surface. Sometimes you might think actually why it is. Actually, my research group and myself went around this urban areas and take some leaf samples and went into the laboratory conditions and observed that through the microscope. Really, there are uh, millions of microorganisms on this leaf surface. Can you believe? Can you believe? Then, secondly, I thought, why they are niching on this habit? Why they are niching on this habit? There should be a purpose on them. Why they are niching on this leaf surfaces? Actually, the leaf surface, leaf intersections of this leaf, full of microorganisms, what they are doing. These innocent organisms are eating these air pollutants, eating these air pollutants. They want to remove these things from this mother of virtue. They want to heal the environment. They want to heal the environment. They are doing a good job. We are the culprit for this environmental criticism, but the, they are the organisms who are trying to heal this nature. So actually, there are many microorganisms, bacteria, fungi, at the moment, in this very moment, they are tolerating the unfavorable conditions occurring in this air. Huge climatic changes, very hot environment, they are spending their entire life on this leaf and what they are doing? They are trying to eat these pollutants in the sense of healing the nature. Actually, because of that, my team tried to invent a new biofilter system embedded in these microorganisms. Here I would say, the credit and courtesy of this scenario and the concept should go to where? To microorganisms. As a humans, what we can do is we can give us support to do that in an efficient way using what? Our technology. We can embed it. This currently occurring theories in the natural environment, we can get it, that out and we can embed that with the technology and we can do a marvelous things to clean this nature. But the concept totally belongs to microorganisms. Totally belongs to microorganisms. But through the technology, we can do a lot of things. So the thing is, this is a one story about the microbial involvement in the environmental healing. This is a one story. There are a lot. Why I am saying this, my dear audience, when you throw a plastic bottle after using into this environment, they are trying to degrade that. When you do a lo lot of industrial activities and release them into the water bodies as the industrial effluents dies and many more things, they are trying to eat that as well. When you release many more waste sludges, oil sludges into marine bodies, they are trying to heal that as well. In your agricultural activities, you added many more chemical fertilizers, pesticides, nematicides, many more things into this environment. Still, they are trying to heal this nature, doing a marvelous ex expertise. These organisms, actually, you can't believe their activity in healing this environment. Every time, every second, they are spending in this 
polluted nature, polluted air everywhere, but they are trying to heal this nature. You and me cannot spend one minute in this polluted environment. Actually, you and me do not like to stay one minute in front of a waste piles, garbage piles, or a polluted air. We don't like. But they are the organisms who are spending their entire life to heal this mother of nature. That's why I would like to say, I would like to respect them, give my honor, how it is. Unsung heroes of environmentalism. Thank you very much, my dear audience.